Hello everyone, I'm JP Misenza. Today is Monday, February 28th, the last day of February. Welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by pvcphuket.com. Matthew Dupre, one of the suspects believed to be involved in the killing of Indian gangster Jimmy Sandhu in Rawai earlier this month, has been arrested in Canada with Thai officials now working on his extradition to face charges here in the kingdom. Thailand's Office of the Attorney General says that Dupre was arrested in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada over a week ago on February 20th. Thailand officials have filed an application for him to be extradited back to the kingdom to face charges over the killing of Sandhu, who was shot multiple times by two men who had been hiding out in the bushes in his driveway of his beachfront villa on February 4th. Police say the killing was an organized hit against Sandhu, a member of the United Nations gang in Western Canada. Dupre and fellow suspect Jean Larkamp have boarded a flight out of Thailand two days after the shooting. Larkamp, who is still on the run, has also fled his home in Trail, British Columbia, according to reports in Canada. The alleged hitmen arrived in Thailand in mid-December, weeks before Sandu entered the country. Surveillance footage of the villa and the surrounding area caught two men whom police believe are Dupre and Larkamp committing the murder, fleeing the scene of the crime and throwing their guns in the sea, which police have recovered. For more on this, visit thepuketnews.com. Thai officials are hoping to evacuate over 200 Thais out of Ukraine this week with the first few evacuees already at the evacuation center in western Ukraine according to the Royal Thai Embassy in Warsaw, Poland. 47 Thais are currently at the evacuation center in the city of Lviv in western Ukraine while another 43 Thais are on their way there from cities across Ukraine. However, embassy officials in Poland say that about 100 Thai nationals are unable to travel due to curfews or unsafe conditions in the cities where they live. Among this group are seven ties in Mokalaev and 12 in Kharkiv. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. Quality guaranteed since 2012. Call M and Painting today. Patong police are being roasted online after a plainclothes officer arrested a flower vendor on Bangla Road and forcibly restrained her on the street for peddling in a public area without a permit. The arrest took place in front of a now-closed bar near Soy Sea Dragon on Bangla Road at 2 a.m. on Thursday. Video posted online of the incident drew harsh criticism from the public as it seemed police never identified themselves. Police say they've been receiving complaints that the group of vendors were annoying tourists and plainclothes police went to the area to detain the woman, but also made no mention of officers failing to properly identify themselves. Police also failed to give any explanation as to how police are enforcing the zero tolerance policy on street peddlers, a decades long fact of life in Patong, or at least only on selected people. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. Charges of negligence are being pressed against the owner and driver of the speedboat over the death of a TV actress, Nida Tangmo Pacharavirapong, who fell into the Chao Praia River in Bangkok on Thursday. 37-year-old TV actress Tang Mo was on a speedboat with five others when she fell into the river around 10.40 p.m. on Thursday, and her body was recovered from the river on Saturday afternoon. By Saturday night, police in Bangkok pressed charges of negligence and operating an unauthorized vessel against the owner of the speedboat, Paul Letawiwit, and the driver of the vessel, Robert Trikanjananun. However, the owner of the boat insists that it was legally licensed, but the tax was overdue by a few days. Reports in the media say that the actress had gone to the back of the boat to relieve herself because the toilet was broken. The Bangkok Post quoted the actress's manager, who said Tang Mo was gazing at the river when the accident happened and had not wanted to wear a life jacket while she posed for photos in her bodysuit. 
Police are now questioning all five people who are also on board the boat. For more, visit the link in the description. Thanks for joining us here on this Monday of Phuket Extra, brought to you by pvcphuket.com. Join us again tomorrow on Tuesday. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as $75,000 US dollars, and luxury properties can go all the way up to $20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure bricks and mortar investment, offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential. Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor to find your perfect Phuket property.